Many times we compare life to a long journey. And along the road of life, you meet a variety of people. Some you only join for a short time, sharing a small part of your life. Those people are your friends. While others you meet over and over along the way, for long times and for short. Sharing memories of lives present and past. Those are your relatives. But along the way lies one special person. A person you never want to part from now that they've been found. A person who makes you feel like you've never felt before. Someone who you truly love. who makes your life seem complete. That is the person that will be at your side until the end of the road. We were supposed to be here last year, but God had other plans for us. And thank God indeed that he did. There would have been a torrential thunderstorm during the ceremony. And if it were never postponed, we wouldn't have known who to consider our true friends and our true family. Anyone who knows my wife and I knows that our lives are full of roadblocks and a lot of oddities. But you know what never was canceled when everything else was? our wedding ceremony in the Catholic Church. Because through all the pain, God finds a way to shine. And like everything else in life, these were all truly blessings in disguise. That's why Kate and I have been so successful at overcoming all the obstacles thrown our way. Because what we have is true love for one another. We have a love that's founded on the same unconditional love that Jesus Christ has for us. It's the same love that our parents had for us growing up, and the same love that we'll pour out on our own children someday. And that love is what makes visible God's invisible graces for us. I truly love you with all of my heart, Kate. There's no one else I'd rather call my wife and no other way I would want our story to be told. Dearly beloved, gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together Caitlin Bennett and Justin Maldow in holy matrimony. The husband makes a willing and unending commitment to encircle his wife with his protecting care, to honor and cherish her with unfailing affection, and to guard her happiness with unceasing vigilance. The wife is committed to love and cherish her husband, to honor and sustain him, and to be true to him in all ways. So, Caitlin and Justin, before God and all these very interested witnesses here, I ask you to pledge your love to one another. I, Justin, take thee, Caitlin. To be my wedded wife again. To be my wedded wife again. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. 
in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. <laughs> Do death do us part. And before Almighty God. And before Almighty God. I pledge thee my love forever. I pledge thee my love forever. Caitlin, I have known you since before your political successes. And I am so proud to see how much you have grown. Congratulations! Thank you. You are the most genuine and strong person I know. You are so inspiring and such a beautiful friend, and I can't thank you enough for all that you have done for me. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see how far you go in your life with Justin. When I first met Justin while I was in college, he drove all the way to Kent to table with Kate and hand out buttons. I was like, wow, that guy must really like Kate to drive that many hours just to hand out buttons on a club table. And although Kate definitely gave you some inspiration and motivation, Justin, because we've all seen that picture of you with the big beard. <laughs> Without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. And although we are states apart now, I still thank God for the one day I decided to come table on campus and meeting you guys changed my life. But one thing's for sure, these two make an inspiring duo. So let's wish the new couple, or I suppose the year old couple, great happiness and adventurous future. And if you ever need anything from me, you know I have your six. Dear Lord, your first miracle was at a wedding feast. And it is a miracle that we are all gathered here as one family and one body of Christ. Lord, we thank you for the many gifts you pour out on us, and we especially thank you for our parents who shaped us into the adults we are today. If you will, Father, let our marriage prosper, and by the fruit of our love, may you draw us closer to your kingdom. We pray, Lord, for those in our lives who have made so many sacrifices for us but could not be here with us today. And we thank you, Father, for this beautiful ceremony and ask that you may bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. People marry either the one or the other one. Here you are. You married the one.